Whoop. <laughs> Hi, it's Sharon. I am fiddling around here with a little board to keep the glaring sun out of my eyes. There we go. It's glaring sun out of my eyes so I can and still have enough light here. Um, kind of later afternoon sun, so I'm at a little bit up the whim of that. Um, hi, how are you? I wanted to um, just have some fun this afternoon and show you how very, very simple it is to make um, a sugar scrub. Sugar, this one's for your body. Uh, so this is a lemon and mint sugar scrub. Obviously, the variations are endless. So when I show you just the simple ingredients that you um, use for this, you'll see how easy it would be to kind of, you know, take it from there and go crazy. So, um, oh my goodness, Facebook is telling me to put a mask to give myself a fun look. Eek! I don't know how fun we want to get this. <laughs> so, um, we'll just leave it at this. I think trying to just keep the highlight of Halo out of <laughs> my face will be good enough for today. Um, anyway, I hope there's some people that will join us live, but in any case, um, I know people have lots of, um, you know, lots of other things to do, like maybe business today. Oh, goodness, I'm going to have to really keep my eye on this little guy. I needed a helper to keep this going. Um, anyway, we're going to, we're just going to go, go forward here, I think. If I can get this to stay one second. Oh my goodness, I had it and then I don't know what happened. What shifted? Okay, so anyway, what we are making today again is a um, lemon mint sugar scrub. And what prompted this is actually two things. Um, first of all, I've been wanting to show you the ease of a, a sugar scrub for a while for your body, just because I don't know about you, but uh, honestly, this time of year, my skin starts going, Ugh, you know, it uh, definitely doesn't feel as soft and smooth as I'd like it to. Uh, we've got a lot more, you know, indoor heating, um, colder, dry air, perhaps. So lots of things that are kind of battling with our skin this time of year. Here, maybe if I put this over here, that'll make it stay. Ha! Hello. Voila. Um, anyway, so that was one of the reasons I wanted to do a sugar scrub anyway, was just to kind of show you uh, a quick, easy solution for just getting rid of that dry, dull, dull dead skin that uh, keeps us from feeling really soft and smooth. The other thing, reason why I'm kind of glad that I waited, is that doTERRA has a great special today. It's a buy one, get one free. So if you buy a peppermint, or excuse me, buy a spearmint essential oil, you get a peppermint free. And so it's all about the mint on today's buy one, get one free. And this is a, a peppermint, mint, spearmint are great ones to use for a body scrub. They're just so invigorating. So we're going to do um, one of those, and that will be your pick, um, and then adding some lemon as well. Citrus is so uplifting, um, feels so good. So first thing in the morning, this would be an excellent scrub to use. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started, and you'll see the ingredients are super simple. Nothing, probably most of what you're going to just have in your own home, so you could maybe even make this tonight. So if you don't get to see this video until later, you can still probably put this together. So first thing, it is a sugar scrub, so we're going to add sugar. So here's what I'm going to say on this. Um, I'm, gonna, I'm getting ready to do a new program called Mind Over Sugar. I have been really good. I can't believe. I mean, the sugar is my nemesis. I, it's, it's a toughie for me. Um, so I have really made a very conscious decision this month that I was getting rid of this stuff out of my diet. Not sugar completely. I'm not talking about whole food sugar. I'm talking about eh, this stuff, which is insidious into everything in our food system. Um, anyway, so, but this is a way that you can use up that white sugar. That's what I was going to get at. So here's white sugar. You can make it organic if you like, especially since it's going on your skin. So one cup, okay? And then I like to have a little bit of fun. You can certainly leave it at this. But I like to kind of get a little extra, I don't know, tooth into the scrub. So I add this. This is a brown turbinado sugar. You can see that. There we go. 
So it's definitely, you know, almost more salt-like. But the reason I like to use sugar in scrubs is that they um, they give you a little, you know, a little abrasion, a little bit of um, uh, tooth, what I, I like to call it tooth, because it, it just kind of, you know, definitely you can feel it scrubbing um, your skin, but it's not tearing at your skin. So the sugar just sort of melts into it more. And I'm, so I like that when I'm doing a scrub. So there we have it. Um, one cup of white sugar, one cup of a turbinado sugar. You could also use brown sugar. That's fine too. So, you know, this is just going to give it a little less, less white, but um, I think it's very pretty. So you've got kind of a, a nice mixture here, the white and the brown. Beautiful. So I just give those a good stir, make sure that they're kind of all integrated together. That's probably good enough. Okay. There we go. So there's our sugars. Now, um, there's many different um, oils you can use, and I'll talk about those in a moment. But what I like to do is at this point, when, what, even while it's dry, I kind of like to put the essential oils into the, the sugar or the salt if I'm making an, an Epsom salt um, bath product. And then just really give it a good stir in that because I feel like that really integrates everything together beautifully when I then add the oil. So today, again, um, the ones that are on the special are peppermint and spearmint. Peppermint, um, they both have a different smell. You know, I guess I could say that the, the easiest thing to differentiate them. They're both mints. They're both from the mint family. Um, but spearmint is probably what your most used to like in gum candy maybe it's sweeter has a little sweeter taste a little sweeter smell so if you like that put spearmint in peppermint is probably um, what you're used to for that kind of more invigorating smell that peppermint gives um, so I'm going to actually put that in this for my bath so 10 drops 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay and then um, you could just make this peppermint or spearmint. That's fine. You know, like I said, this is super flexible. If so, I might just, you know, put a few more drops in. But then I'm going to, this is, I advertise as a lemon mint sugar scrub. So, oh, hi, Amanda. How are you? Um, so this is a lemon mint scrub. So I'm putting lemon in. So a lemon, lemon essential oil. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten or so. Okay, <laughs> I'm not going to be too picky on that one. I love the smell of lemon. And again, this one is one I suggest that you'd use in the shower in the morning. And I do suggest, you know, a sugar scrub I think is great to use when you're showering. It just, it's going to be, let's face it, it gets a little messy. Um, and so you can just, you know, shower it off and clean the shower kind of all at the same time. And see how this now is just really um, all integrating in. And oh my God, it smells good. It's wonderful. Okay, so that's really integrating nicely. Okay, now it's time to add the oil. And I just wanted to pull this up. Um, boop, boop, boop. And let's see here. Um, the oils, there's some different properties for the oils. And there's many different oils you can use. So depending on whether you have drier skin, normal skin, um, sensitive skin, etc. Uh, ones that I love to use though that I think work for most everybody um, is almond oil is beautiful, jojoba oil is beautiful, avocado oil if you've got sensitive or dry skin is really good and, and nurturing oil. Um, what I'm going to use today is actually fractionated coconut oil. I buy it in big bottles, and the reason I do that is because I use, I do a lot of roller bottle blends. I have an Etsy store for that. I do a lot of wellness blends for people that um, ask me to do some custom blends. So I buy the big guy, okay, and I do, I make all my own skincare for the most part. So I, I buy it big, but um, doTERRA does have, if you're going to be ordering anyway, they do have a really nice bottle of fractionated coconut oil. This is nice because it's liquefied already. It's ready to go. They've just taken the solids out, so it still has really good properties of coconut. Um, the other thing is, though, if you're, hey, I want to use this tonight. I don't have that. Um, 
then take your coconut oil, the solid, and just melt it down, okay, and just kind of cool it down so it's not hot, um, but just so it's in liquid form, and you can use that, okay? So I've got half a cup of fractionated coconut oil, and I am just going to pour that in, and here I go. Just going to blend this together. Oh, my gosh, I can't tell you guys. I mean, this is afternoon. This is kind of my... Um, typical little bit of, I don't know, my little slump time. And this is just kicking it right, <laughs> right up. I'm smelling all this great lemon and peppermint and um, immediate, immediate fix for me. Of, oh yeah, I can go for the rest of the day. Mm. Oh my gosh, I wish you could smell this through the screen. It is so beautiful. Now, I, I think I'll leave it right here. This is, um, some, some people will make it lots, much goopier, okay? There's a lot more oil that people put in. In fact, the recipe that I kind of um, adapted this from uh, had a lot more oil in it. I don't tend to like to grab and get just sloppy oil, so I kicked it back a little bit. But you can add, you know, add more if you like. Okay, so like I said, this is really, really easy to adapt to what you like, the essential oils you like, the sugars you like, what kind of liquid oil you like. Really, have fun and play with it. Um, if you do want to get the, the mint oils of the day, uh, you can just let me know. I can get up to six, so, or six, you know, six sets. So I will be ordering mine tonight. Um, let me know, obviously, if you're already a wellness advocate. I hope you knew about this. If you don't, I'm telling you. And, uh, you know, make sure you, that you get your, your chance at, at ordering, too. So um, I hope that this was helpful. And, again, you can see how easy it is. And look how much I made. I mean, this is enough for several showers. And it was pennies to put together compared to, you know, ten dollars more when you're buying them at the store or online so um, you know give yourself some credit you can do this and I hope you enjoy um, you know fashioning your own bath products your own self-care products because um, it's easy and you'll know exactly what's in it right we don't want to put all that chemical you know wet storm on our bodies so Keep your hormones happy and healthy. Um, enjoy the sugar scrub. Get that dead skin from the winter off, and you will be um, feeling marvelous. All right? Take care, guys. Bye.